Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate Shopify using Pabli Connect. So Shopify is a leading e-commerce platform that enables individuals and businesses to create, manage and grow their online stores. It provides all the tools and features needed to set up an online e-commerce storefront, sell products, manage inventory, process payments and handle shipping. It provides all these features in one place. Shopify is actually widely used by businesses of all sizes from small startups to large enterprises to sell both physical and digital products. So if you are using Shopify as your e-commerce store and you want to automate the process which are involved in handling the e-commerce store, then you can simply set up a connection between Shopify and Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to automate all the repetitive tasks for our businesses without any coding and programming skills. Simply by setting up connections between our work applications. So with the help of Pabli Connect, you can set up the connection between Shopify and any other application which you're using for your business, such as with the help of it, you can contact with your Shopify customers through WhatsApp, through email. You can send the details of your customers, of your orders, which are being placed on your store to your team members on Google Chat space. And even you can automatically create and add products in your Shopify store. Along with it, also you can share the blogs on Shopify automatically. So in order to automate all these processes, first of all, you need to learn how you have to set up a connection between Shopify and Pabli Connect and that I'm going to tell you step by step in the same video. So let's get started. We are currently on the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. Once you will reach here, you will find two options sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, just click on sign in to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button. It is going to create your free new account just in two minutes and also you will receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. Now it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here in the same dashboard to save our workflow separately and accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. Over here, a dialog box is appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Automate Shopify using Pabli Connect. After giving this name to your workflow, you can select the folder in which you want to save it. You can see we have a list of folders over here. Among these folders, I'm going to select this automations for e-commerce store because here I'm setting up the connection between Shopify and Pabli Connect in order to automate my tasks which are involved in handling an e-commerce store. So after giving the name to my workflow, I'm going to click on create. And as we will do that, a new screen will be open in front of us which contains two extremely important windows. First is the trigger over here and the second is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and action are the two main concepts, the principles or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So here whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can add as many action steps as we want let's suppose i'm taking the scenario over here that i want that whenever a new order will be placed on my shopify store then let's say i want to add the details of that order in my google sheets to create a record so here let's suppose we are going to take shopify and trigger and google sheets in action when we are going to set up the connection between these applications we can clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the order is being placed in shopify then only the details of that order will be recorded in Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us quickly start creating our automation step by step. Before moving forward towards starting this workflow here, I'm going to tell you one more important thing that you can use Shopify both the ways inside Pabli Connect. If you want that on the happening of a specific event, you want to capture the response of Shopify and you want to share that response to any other application automatically to perform an event, then you can use Shopify and trigger. But in case if you want that on the happening of a specific event in any of the application which you're using, you want to capture the response and send it to a Shopify for performing a particular event, then you can add Shopify in action. Here in this video, I'm going to show you both the methods step by step. So first of all, let's start with a trigger. So here I'm going to tell you first of all, how you have to connect Shopify inside Pabli Connect as trigger. So let's get started. In order to start with the workflow, first of all, you have to go towards your trigger step and you have to select your trigger application and that will be Shopify. So let's select that quickly. 
After selecting the application, the next step is to select the trigger event. Now, what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start. You can see we have list of events over here, new blog entry, new cart, new checkout, new collection, new customer, new order and etc. So on the happening of whichever event you want to capture the response, you can select that. Let's suppose my objective is that whenever a new order will be placed on my Shopify store, then I want to capture the response of that. Now, as we have done that, we have to basically set up the connection between Shopify and Pabli Connect and for doing that, we have received a webhook URL. Also, we have received some instructions. So we will follow these instructions step by step to set up the connection by inserting this webhook URL inside Shopify. And how you have to do that, that I'm going to tell you exactly. So basically, this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge for transferring the data from Shopify towards Pabli Connect whenever a new order will be placed and that too instantly. So let's copy this webhook URL and then what you have to do, you have to just go towards your Shopify account. You have to log into your account. I've already done that. So I'm going to take you towards my Shopify account. And and after coming over here from the left side, you will find the option of settings. We have to select that. After coming on settings option from the left side, once again, you have to go towards notifications option. And over here, you can see the option of webhooks at last. You have to select that because you want to set up a webhook. What you have to do, you have to click on this create webhook button. You have to enter some details over here to set up this webhook. First of all, you have to select the specific event on the happening of which you want to capture the response on the webhook. So over here, I want that whenever the new order will be placed, then I want to capture the response. So order creation will be my event over here. According to your choice, you can select the event from the drop down. Then the format over here will be JSON. Now in the URL field, you just have to paste the webhook URL which you have copied from Pabli Connect. Then you have to select the webhook API version. So you will select latest version over here. Then we will click on save. As we have done that, the webhook is ready and it is set up successfully. So we'll go back towards Pabli Connect. Now it is showing waiting for webhook response. So what we have to do, we just have to capture the response and how we are going to do that by doing a test submission. To do the test submission, we have to place an order on our Shopify store. So I'm going to take you towards Shopify once again. We'll go back. And after coming back over here on the dashboard, you can see there. here is an option of online store. So we are going to view this online store in a new tab. So this is my Shopify store. And over here, these are the products which I have on my store. So I'm going to purchase one of these products. Let's say this chair. So I'm going to open this chair. And over here, I'm going to purchase it. So I'm going to click on buy it now. And this is the checkout page of the chair. So in order to place the order, the customer will have to enter some details over here. The same details I'm going to enter so that I can purchase the chair. I can place an order, okay, as a customer. So it's let's start with the email here. I'm going to enter the email of the customer. Let's say smart user 38 at the rate publitudes.com then i'm going to enter some details such as the delivery details over here we have the country then we am going then i'm going to enter the first name the last name over here i'm going to enter the shipping address 45 new street just a random address big apartment here i'm going to enter the state over here the pin code and now it is asking us shipping method so i'm going to select it as standard then here we have to select the payment method so i'm going to use cash on delivery as payment method to place this order then i'm going to select the billing address as the same as i have entered as shipping address then i will simply click on complete order and you can see that the order is successfully placed. So as we have done that now i'm going to take you towards my public connect account and over here we'll wait for the response for a few seconds. And the response is received. So in this response, when you will scroll down, we will find all the details related to the order, the product which is being purchased and the customer who has purchased this order. First of all, here we have the weight of the chair being purchased, that the currency mode is INR. When we will scroll down over here, you can see we have some other details such as the name of the customer. Here we have the state. Here we have the pin code which he has entered. Here we have the shipping method that is standard. Then we have the address of this customer. Okay, the payment method, cash on delivery, which we have selected and all other details. And also we have received the product which is being purchased, the chair. And over here we have the price of the chair. Now, because we have received this response successfully and all the details are exactly the same which we have entered while checking out for the payment for this particular product by, while placing the order. This means that the connection between Shopify and Public Connect is absolutely successful. Now, once we have set up this connection, every time a new order will be placed on our Shopify store for any of the product, the response will be automatically captured inside Public Connect. And after setting up this connection, we can also add action applications in the workflow so that whenever the order response will be captured, it will be sent automatically to other applications such as Google. 
Google Sheets to create a record or also we can add WhatsApp over here. We can set up the connection between Pabli Connect and WhatsApp by adding WhatsApp Cloud API so that we can send automated confirmation messages to our customers who have placed this order. Okay, in this way, our automation is going to work. So here we have learned how to use Shopify in Trigger. Now, this was just an example of new order, but, but in the similar method by inserting the webhook URL inside Shopify account, you can use any of the event which you want. Okay. When we have done that, let's move forward. Now, next time I'm going to tell you that how you have to use Shopify inside Pabli Connect as action. So let's get started for that as well. Now, in this scenario, let's suppose I'm managing a fashion store with the help of Shopify and I want to post new blogs on my Shopify store related to the same store. So I create multiple blogs related to the new fashion trends, summer collections, etc. Whatever collection I'm having on my store recently. And, and to promote my store, I want to post these blogs now i create the blogs by my own and i have prepared a spreadsheet for that so on whichever title i want to post the blog i'm going to enter the title the content and the author name through which i'm receiving these blogs on my in my company okay now my objective is that as soon as i'm going to fill these details in my spreadsheet automatically the blog should be posted on my shopify store that same with the same content the same title and in order to do that i will have to set up the connection between my google sheets and shopify store so in order to do that i will have to take Google Sheets and Trigger and Shopify in action. I'm taking this scenario in order to show you how you have to use Shopify as your action step. Now to create this automation, I've already captured the response from Google Sheets. I've set up the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. And as I've done that, I've received the response of the first blog I have in my spreadsheet in the first row. Okay. You can see here we have the blog titled Top 10 Fashion Trends to Elevate Your Wardrobe This Season. Here I have the content and over here I have the author. Now by using these details as I've received in my response, I want to create a blog on my Shopify store. So so as you can see exact details I have received. So now I will move forward towards action step and we have to select our action application as Shopify, which I've already done. So we'll move forward towards action event. Here I'm just taking the scenario of creating the blog. Therefore, I'm going to select the action event as creation of blog, but you can select any of the action event according to your choice, which you want in the same steps, which I'm going to show you today. So over here, my action event will be create blog entry. Then I will set up the connection between Shopify and Pabli Connect. And the steps which we have performed earlier by setting up the webhook inside Shopify is not not applicable while setting up the connection between Shopify and Public Connect as action. So once again, we have to go towards our add new connection and, and we have to perform some other new steps in order to set up this connection. How we have to do that? We have to create an app inside Shopify and we have to provide the access token and the subdomain. So first of all, I will show you how you have to get this subdomain. To get this, it is given over here in the instructions that you just have to go towards Shopify store website and you have to look towards the URL. From your URL, you will find your subdomain. For example, if your URL is this, then after HTTP is slash and before dot my Shopify dot com. This will be your subdomain. So I'm going to take you towards my store website and over here we'll look towards the URL and over here you can see that in the URL of my Shopify store website we have after HTTP is slash and before dot my Shopify dot com. This is our subdomain. So I will simply copy it and I'm going to go back towards Public Connect to paste over here. Done. In this way you have to find your subdomain from your Shopify store website. Then we'll move forward towards admin API access token. So how we are going to get that in order to get this token we have to first of all create an app inside Shopify account so I'm going to show you how you have to do that I'm going to take you towards Shopify account and we'll go towards the settings section once again from the left side over here after coming on settings here we have the option of apps and sales channel we have to select that and we have to create a new app over here so we'll click on developer apps and we'll click on create an app button then we have to provide a name to our app so I'm going to give a name as let's say new blogs then I'm going to click on create and the app is created. Now we have to configure this app. Okay, so we'll click on this configure admin API scopes. And here we have to provide the permission to this apps to do the following because my objective is to post the blogs over here and to create the blog. So I will search for store content over here and I will select write and read both. Then after giving the permissions to this app, we'll simply click on save. And as we are doing that, now we are going to install this app. So we'll click on install and we'll install this app. The app is installed and here we have the admin API access token which we have to click on reveal token once and we have to copy it 
we'll go back and paste over here. So this is our token which we require. In the similar manner, without any coding and programming skills, you just have to create your app and you have to provide the permissions to that app when you will find the API access token. After entering it, you will click on save and the connection between Shopify and Pabli Connect is absolutely successful. So now we have to move forward towards entering these details. First of all, it is asking us the blog ID. So I only have one blog ID over here, which I have selected already. But if you have multiple in your store, then you can select one of them which you want. Then here we have to enter the title, the author name, the content and other details. So one by one, we will enter these details. Which blog you want to post, you have to provide the title of that blog. I want to post the same blog which I have in my Google Sheets and I have received the response of that. So I will simply use the same response which I have received. So I will enter the data through that response. Instead of entering this title name manually over here, I will simply map it. Mapping is inserting data from previous step. This is my previous step and these are all the details. So over here, I want to enter the title. This is my blog title. I will select it and it is mapped over here. When we have mapped this title, it has become dynamic and with each and every new response, automatically it is going to replace now. So in a similar manner, as we have mapped the title, we are going to map all other details as well, which we want to change. And in this way, we are going to automate the entire process of creating new blogs from Google Sheets inside Shopify. Then it is asking us the author name, which we have already received. So I'm going to map the author name as well and the content as well. If you want to use any image in this blog, you can enter the URL of that image as well, but I'm going to keep it blank. If you want to provide the summary of this blog, you can also enter it over here. If you want to provide certain tags, you can enter them and done. So here it is asking us, do you want to publish this blog or not? So I'm going to select false currently because I want to keep it in the draft mode. But if you want, you can also select as true. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we have received the response. In this response here, we have received the details. Along with this, we have also received the article ID. This means our blog is successfully created inside Shopify. So I'm going to take you towards Shopify. We'll go back. And after coming on the dashboard in the blog post section, you can see a new blog is posted over here. When I'm going to open it, you can see these are all the details. Here we have the title, here we have the content and all other details. This means that our connection between Google Sheets and Shopify is absolutely successful. In this way, you have to use Shopify in action. So I hope you have understood how you have to connect Shopify inside Pabli Connect to automate your task in trigger as well as in action. Thank you for watching this video. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.